Kenny McPeak, uh, let's talk about uh, first the filly in the two fillies in the grade one Darley Alcibiades. Uh, Mama Rena had a nice finish in the Pocahontas. Uh, did you see that coming? She'd been building up? We really did. Um, I've, I've always felt like she was a better dirt horse than turf horse. She made a couple starts at Ellis Park on the grass because we wanted to teach her the two turn routine. Um, she handled that well. She broke her maiden down there um, in, a, in a nice photo finish with Brian. And then her race, we waited for the Pocahontas and her race in the Pocahontas was good. He rode her well and snuck up the rail and got a pretty good piece of it being second. But um, this is a nice filly. Uh, we won the race last year for Harold Lerner and uh, we're gonna take her back over there and see if we can defend it. Um, as far as the, the distance, two, two turns seem the farther the better? Yeah, no problem. Um, a nice handy filly, beautiful filly, good mover and doing everything right. What about Penny Saber? How's she coming up to this race? Penny Saber's a really talented filly. Um, you know, we, we took her to Saratoga for the summer with intentions of thinking we could break her maiden up there um, and then come back to the Pocahontas. And she um, she got nervous in the paddock at Saratoga, ran a kind of a, what I call troubled fourth at, at Saratoga. And then her last race was, was massive. Um, I mean, she romped off and she's worked like a really top filly and she, um, you know, I think she's in with a pretty big chance herself this weekend. With the big crowd uh, for Keeneland weekend, is that a concern at all since the, the Saratoga thing? It, it is. Um, you know, I brought her over already. She's already based here at Keeneland. She's going to get schooled through the paddock uh, just about every day going into the race. <laughs> and that'll give her some time to, to familiarize herself with um, the scenery. But she can get a little nervous, but I think I think she'll be fine. Let's talk about the cult that's in the Claiborne Breeders Futurity Rattle and Roll was the 23rd, I think, broke his maiden. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that race, what impressed you. You, you know, um, what it, he came off a really rough race in Saratoga. He got hit in the eye in, uh, in his uh, two-turn race in Saratoga and bolted, which was very unusual because um, I, I don't think I've ever had a horse do that. And that was kind of indict indicative of our entire summer <laughs> up there, which was eventful. Um, but he came back and, and that was a roaring victory that he had at Churchill and um, this horse has got high level talent himself and he set up for the two turn uh, game plan there and he, he, he was so intense in his last race. I was really impressed. I think if he can take a step forward, he's got a big shot Saturday. Coming off a, uh, a big Churchill meet as we see the sign there. Uh, tell me uh, how your, your barn is set up for the Keelan meet. Well, um, I got a buddy of mine that, that uh, years ago nicknamed me McFall. <laughs> and, um, you know, he's right. Um, he's, he plays the horses, and he's always asking when to bet. And I think he figured out a long time ago that I do really well in September, October, and November. And, of course, Keeneland being October, um, some, some I think they nicknamed me years ago Kenland. <laughs> but um, we'll see. You know, we've got our work cut out for us. It's never easy there, but we love, love racing at Keeneland.